everyone, and today we're going to do the pin code integral question solution. All right, so this is the question. This is what's been popping up on social media today. I got tagged in, obviously, because everyone knows how good my friends know how good I am. So, hi, darling, use my ATM card, take my amount out, go shopping, and take your friends for lunch. The pin code given by this nasty looking integral. I love you, honey. A lot of um, people saying it's pay pass, but let's say. There's no pay pass and you've got to solve the integral. So today I'm going to show you the best method to solve this integral. And you only need to use methods learned in, say, if you do extension to maths integration or first year university integration. So we go down. This is what we need. This is what we're going to need. We're going to need the reverse chain rule, integration by parts, and use the fact that x over square root x equals root x. All right, using those three things, we can integrate this. No substitution needed. So this is the integral we have, right? And the first step is the hardest. Right? Now the problem, so in normal, in normal, say if you're doing extension to maths in New South Wales or first year university calculus, if there was an only, if you get rid of these two terms and only have two x minus four over square root um, this, then that's pretty easy to integrate. Right, because we can use the reverse chain rule to integrate that. However, we've got these extra cube terms and squared terms, so that's the problem. We've got to get rid of those. So the trick we're going to use is we're going to use we're going to write what's on the bottom on top. So what that will look like is integral from zero to one. But see how we've got x cubed. So what we're going to do is pretty much times each of these by x and write that on top. So that's going to look like 3x cubed minus 9x squared plus 6x, right? Because see, I've got 3 there, so I'm going to need to by time, divide that by 3, I get the minus 3x, divide that by 3, I get the 2. And that's going to be the first fraction. x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now I need to create a new fraction to so that this adds to get so that adds to this to give me back that. See how I've got negative x squared here but negative 9x? That means I need to add 8x squared. I've got plus 6x but plus 2x, which means I need to subtract 4x, and I've got that minus 4 at the beginning there anyway. So the x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx. So now if you notice, if I take 3x out of here, because integral 0 to 1, I get x squared minus 3x plus 2 over square root x squared minus 3x plus 2. That's, the, that's x over root x. Now over here, I'm going to use the same trick because I still got the square, right? The aim is to reduce it so that only x appears. We need the power to be lower than what's on the bottom. So we're going to do the same thing. But now we have 8x squared, so I'm going to have to take the 8 out and write on the inside what's on the bottom. 3x plus 2 over square root x squared minus 3x plus 2. And now I've got to add what I've got here so that it gets minus 4x minus 4. So here this is minus 24x, but here it's minus 4x. That means I need to add 20x to get back the minus 4x. Here I've got 8 times 2, that's 16. So I need to subtract 20 to get the minus 4. So now look at what happens here. This cancels with that, and same with that. So on the bottom, so see here, this is the exact same thing. I can factorize it out. It's 3x plus 8 times square root x squared minus 3x plus 2. right? Because this is the same fraction here and here with 3x plus 8. And this is x over root x cancelling to give me root x. Now, this if I gave you this integral, that's a much easier integral now. That's just a simple basic four unit integral, basic first year calculus integral question. Because now we're going to use the reverse chain rule because I have a fun square root of a function on the bottom, so I want to write the derivative of the inside on top. 
So the derivative of the inside is 2x minus 3 over square root x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now see I've got 20x. So the aim is at each step you see is I reduce the power of x. So the first step was to get rid of the cube, then get rid of the squared. Now I'm going to get rid of the x's. So that means I'll have to write a 10 at the front here in brackets, right? Because that's 10 times, so that's 20x. That gets rid of all the x's. But now this is minus 3 times 10, that's minus 30. If I've got minus 20, that means I need to add 10. Now on the bottom, so what you do now, once you've reduced it down to a number, we need to complete the square on the bottom. So if you're attempting this question, you should know how to complete the square quite easily. Quarter, dx. So let's just scroll down a bit to see that, right? So now we're going to separate and go through and integrate each part individually. But again, what I'm going to do now on the next page is for this part here, I can use the reverse chain rule again, sort of, right? Because the derivative of the inside is 2x minus 3, so I'm just going to change this to 2x minus 3. This I can integrate straight away using the reverse chain rule. And this is actually a fancy log integral using a standard table of integrals, right? So this formula is on the standard table. So we're just going to get a new sheet. So now i equals integral 0 to 1. So notice how I'm using i. It's very important when you're doing four unit integration and higher, especially uni, is to label your integrals using letters. You'll see why in a, later. So now we want to write the derivative of the inside at the front here. Because that means I can use the reverse chain rule. Derivative of the inside is 2x minus 3. But remember we have 3x plus 8. So I want to get rid of all the x's. So I put a 3 on 2 out. Because 3 on 2 times 2 will give me back the 3. Next, I've got to go over here. So in brackets, I've got the 8 from before. But see here I've got minus 3 times 3 on 2. That's minus 9 on 2. That means I've got to add 9 on 2 here. And then I've got square root minus 3x plus 2 dx. And then plus, I can now just write down the integrals from before, which are twenty square root x squared minus three x plus two plus ten ln absolute value x minus three on two plus square root x squared minus three x plus two absolute value between zero and one. Okay, so that's integrating those second two parts. I'll just go back and show you. So now, see, I'm just integrating these two parts here, right? Because this is using reverse chain rule, right? Because the derivative of the bottom is on top. So that's just integrating 1 on root x, which turns into 2 root x. So if you're doing this integral, you should know how to do that quite easy. And this, I'm using the um, standard table of integral for integrating 1 over square root x squared minus a squared. So you can look up a standard table to get that. So we get to this part here, equals. Now I can integrate this straight away because that's just the derivative of the function. So this is just x square root x. So to integrate square root x, that becomes x to the 3 on 2 over 3 on 2, which actually cancels that. So that's actually just x squared minus 3x plus 2 to the power of 3 on 2 between 1 and 0. Plus, and look at here, this is 8 plus 9 on 2, that's 25 on 2, integral 1 to 0, square root x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx. And now let's sub all the bounds in for this one here. So if I sub in the 1 here, that's 1 minus 3 plus 2, 0. Sub in 0, that's just root 2 plus 10 brackets, ln. And notice you have an absolute value. So when you're doing definite intervals for logs, you've got to put absolute values because you cannot log negative numbers. So if you put the 1 in, that's just absolute value negative a half minus ln absolute value negative 3 on 2 plus root 2. And brackets again. I think that's everything. So now we just got to work out this integral and we are done. And now this is the hardest integral to deal with.
So we're gonna use integration by parts to deal with that and it actually makes it really easy. So you see here, I'm gonna call it K. And now to integrate it, I'm gonna use integration by parts. So my U will be square root X squared minus three X plus two. And my V dash will be one. So to get, we get U dash by differentiating this. So differentiate the inside and subtract the power by one, bring the power. So we get to that. So if you're doing integration at this level, you should be able to do derivatives like this instantly. Otherwise you're gonna have a hard time integrating. And an integral of one is just x. So now, if I space out here, k is gonna be u times v. So x root x squared minus three x plus two between one and zero, minus half integral zero to one. And now we times each of those by x, we get two x squared minus three x over x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx. Okay, now this part is going to be 0, right? If I sub in 0, that gets 0. If I sub in 1, that's 0. Now in order to integrate this, we're going to go back to what we did at the beginning, right? This is pretty much looks identical to what we did at the beginning. We've got an x squared on the top, x squared on here. So we're going to get rid of x squared by writing on top what's on the bottom. But I'll put in brackets x squared plus 2 over square root x squared minus 3x plus 2 plus. Now, in here, this is minus 6x. That's minus 3x. So I need to add 3x. Um, let's see. So 2 times 2 is 4. I just added that 4, so I've got to subtract that 4 back over square root x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx. So now if we simplify this part equals negative half integral naught to one, just two root x squared minus three x plus two. Now, we did the same thing before. We've got, we're gonna to have to write the derivative of the bottom on top. So the derivative is two x minus three. And because I've got three x and two, I'm gonna put the number at the front that turns it into three x. Right, so 3 on 2 times 2 will be 3. So now I just need to add the number I've, I've got here. This is negative 4, but this is negative 9 on 2, which means I've got to add 1 on 2 times. Now, I'm running out of space here, but if I just... Here, now, remember, when we've got the number here, we're going to complete the square. So it's x minus 3 on 2 squared minus a quarter. And we've got dx. Okay, right now, so let's go all the way over here to finish it off. Now, here's the beauty. This is why we're going to use notation. If you notice, this integral here is just my original integral um, k. So this is actually just negative a half times 2k. And then minus a half times. So now we're integrating this. So this is, again, this is the reverse chain rule because that's the derivative on top. So this is one on root x. So the integral of one on root x is two root x. So that cancels that. So that just becomes three <coughs> square root x squared minus three x plus two. And then again, this is that fancy log integral from the standard table of integrals. But then, oops, don't forget there's the negative half times in that half. Be careful, in minus a quarter. Ln absolute value x minus three on two plus square root x squared minus 3x plus 2. Absolute value. Close the brackets. So you see if I cancel those out, this turns into 2k. And don't forget we've got bounds here to sub in. So 2k equals negative 3 on 2 brackets 0 minus root 2 <clears throat> minus a quarter brackets ln absolute value uh, we'll put in the one we get negative half close that minus ln absolute value negative three on two plus square root two oh, there's a lot going on here and close the brackets and then to get k we just divide by two so now I've evaluated every integral. All I've got to do is sub everything in. So 
last in the rule. So I'll show you that one. So we just got to sub it into here. Right, because this here is K. That's K. So now, so if you sub the value we've got for K into here and sub the bound in here, if you sub the bound we get 2 root 2, oh, so we get minus 2 root 2 plus 25 on 2 times K minus 20 root 2 plus 10 ln a half minus 10 ln 3 on 2 minus root 2 <clears throat> and pretty much scroll down here so you're going to put that all into calculator and I've written the value down so the value where are we here equals are you ready for it negative 2.9812 Two six six nine four four zero zero six. Okay, so you've got to be very careful. There's so many chances to make silly errors here. That's why I took my time to do this the first time. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, what's the pin code? Now the problem is, banks can have between four to twelve digits. So if it's a four digit pin code, the pin code would be 2981 you'd assume. But that's why this question is very difficult because A, it's a nasty integral, which is quite long to get. And B, how many digits is the pin code? So if we assume it's a four digit pin code, I'd say two nine, so it's right here, pin. Right, because most codes are up four, but some digits can go up to twelve. So that means it's be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Otherwise, this is just a fun exercise in integrating, right? A really good practice to demonstrate really nice tricks for integrating. The hardest integral here was to do reverse chain rule. Right? There was actually no hard integral, it was just lots of manipulation techniques to turn it into a nice integral that was easy to do. But it was hard to get there. So I hope by watching this, you, saw, you see some nice tricks on how to integrate, which you can apply to different questions. This took a long time, right? Because it's a long integral, right? And you gotta be very careful. This would be more an assignment type level question. If you got this in the exam, good luck. Otherwise, if you enjoy it, make sure to share this with friends, right? If they need integration help doing first year uni or four unit extension two maths or equivalent. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.